One of the first questions to ask when evaluating a PCB assembly contract manufacturer is can they handle the expected production volume? To answer that, we first have to understand what we mean by low, mid, and high volumes. For this video, we'll leave aside very high volume consumer electronics, and consider more typical volumes done by US-based contract manufacturers like Z-Axis. Buyers of SMT printed circuit boards often consider volume in terms of boards per year, but that doesn't tell us what we need to know. A contract manufacturer thinks in terms of numbers of parts to be placed. This is because the speed of the SMT pick and place machines is generally the limiting factor in how fast a job can be completed. Consider this example. For this job we need to produce 50 boards. For this job we need to produce 1000. Which is higher volume? This board has 1800 parts, so that's a total of 90,000 parts in the job. This one has 40 parts per board for a total of 40,000 parts. We'd consider it to be a lower volume job even though it's 20 times more boards. One reason the number of boards doesn't give you the true picture of volume is panelization. For most PCB assemblies, the layout designer fits multiple boards in an array on a single substrate or panel. The entire panel is populated at once, and then de-paneled into individual boards. So to produce 10,000 small boards, which sounds like a lot, we may need just 100 panels. But again, what really matters is the total number of parts in the job. Now that we have a better understanding of volume, let's look at what a contract manufacturer needs in order to do low, mid, and high volumes in one factory. First, you need SMT lines designed for both speed and flexibility. These machines pick and place up to 45,000 parts per hour to complete high volume jobs fast and are designed for fast changeover between jobs, so you can do many different lower volume jobs in a week. A contract manufacturer may also have a semi-automated line for lower volume jobs, as well as new products. For work other than SMT assembly, we may use manual processes for low volumes and switch to robotic systems for higher volumes. For example, this robotic dispensing system for box builds. For IC programming, we can process a low volume by hand or use a robotic system for higher volumes. For through-hole PCB assembly and some mixed technology boards, the wave solder can handle any volume. For mixed technology boards that can't be wave soldered, we can do hand soldering for low volumes or robotic soldering for higher volumes. Visit our website to learn more about contract manufacturing of low, mid, or high volume electronic products in the USA.